All right, hey Cancer, so I'm doing a singles read to kind of kick off the new year for you guys. And I didn't want to set a huge intention on brand new love. I'll do another read um, soon, all right, for brand new love. But this one is going to be with the intention of new love or returning love um, because we have retrograde coming up. So um, I just want to be able to send clarity to anybody who might be um, kind of dealing with somebody from the past creeping up what their intentions are and all that good stuff. So you guys are going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about love. And if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements. And if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my energy. All right. I feel like for whoever I'm talking to, as far as you being single and um, how you're kind of navigating through life, um, I feel like your energy is really, really positive. The seven of pentacles is a healing energy. It's like working on yourself, investing in yourself and really being proud of um, who you're coming in to be. The three of cups right here, I do feel like, you know, it's like if I have it, if somebody is to enter, if somebody's to come in, that's really, really positive and great. Um, but I feel like you're just confident and with who you are right now, you know, the knight of swords is a very, very successful energy. It's somebody who's full of ambition action oriented driven to succeed so you could have the focus on yourself right now right nurturing yourself growing yourself healing yourself but all the while with this three of cups energy it's like i wouldn't mind actually having somebody come through at this point right so let's just see how it is you feel about love how you feel about love we have the seven of wands coming through the seven of wands the six of cups and the hermit card so i feel like with this energy you're not really putting yourself out there um you know i feel like the hermit card coming through with the seven of wands is really kind of taking care of yourself like hey i don't want anybody who's going to come into my life that doesn't have um you know traits a b and c self-love self-care um that healing dynamic that you've already kind of been going through right with the six of cups coming through, it's like you want somebody who's warm, somebody who has positive energy. Um, and, and this is like really just um, innocent kind of love coming through here. I feel like, you know, it's like I just want somebody um, that cares for me as much as I know my potential give. All right. You got the two of cups showing up at the bottom of the deck, which is kind of referencing that wanting that deep soul level um, type of connection. Um, you know, it's like the hermit card right here is you're really kind of pulling your energy within really thinking about what type of relationship you want opposed to having a vision for a certain person or a certain quality. I feel like this is more about um, the dynamic, um, how you want the relationship to go, what you want it to be like, how you want to mold it. I feel like that's where you're at. So let's see who's coming towards you. is coming towards you what do we got we have the four of cups um coming through with cancer energy we have the nine of cups which is going to be pisces and what else we got the six of swords the six of swords is going to be led by aquarius so we have um, pisces and aquarius kind of coming through here but i feel like this person right here is somebody um here's what i'm going to say i feel like this is somebody who is in the form of a wish fulfillment that you've never had all right, I'm not looking at this from a past um, perspective. I'm looking at it as an opportunity coming through. It's like, here's where you've sat with these cups right in front of you. You're not holding on to that because you're healing through that and you're kind of going through those and, and uh, um, removing um, the old marks, right? That doesn't, that don't belong to you anymore. With this four of cups, I feel like um, it's somebody new. You have an experience, somebody in the form of your idealistic version of a wish fulfillment, somebody that you can really move forward with, navigate life with, and just kind of um, be free from the past. All right. I feel like this person coming through is going to show you something that you've never actually been able to quite um, envision. We have the Knight of Wands at the at the bottom. Um, this is Aquarius and Capricorn energy. So we have Aquarius, Aquarius. Uh, Capricorn and Pisces and the Knight of Wands just says that this person is going to be full of passion, full of inspiration, um, lots and lots of um, adventure, adventuristic um, type of energy. So I feel like this person is going to come through. They're going to want to go places and do things, right? Um, I just look at this person as um, somebody who's full of energy and ambition. So let's see a little bit more about this person. 
what else? We got lots of Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. We have the Ace of Cups coming through as a depiction of new energy. Look at that. You have the Emperor and you have the Devil card coming through. So I feel like this person is going to have a healthy balance, especially if you guys are on like a soul level um, or a spiritual path. I feel like there's going to be a healthy balance between this person's ego and their higher self. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at this in balance, you guys. I don't see it as negative energy. I almost feel like it's like um, if, if you like... A certain thing in the bedroom this person might like a certain thing in the bedroom I almost feel like it's just um, matched energy all right something that you may have not experienced and somebody that you can actually feel really comfortable around when it comes to who you are maybe even past situations um, familial situations it's like coming through um, the rough patches and into the the positive um, more of the positive places in life um, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say here, but I almost feel like it's the balance of good and bad, you know, um, in the spiritual aspects, it's kind of like we start to eliminate, um, you know, the third dimension, like realities. And I just feel like this person's going to be balanced. You know, they might be really spiritual, but they might be focused on money. You know, um, I just feel like it's a balance between the ego side and the, and the fifth dimension, but I do feel like it is new energy coming through here. You got Aries, um, cancer scorpio pisces and capricorn coming through and with the devil card too i just feel like this is more about living inside of the ego um you know and really it doesn't matter what kind of path we're on i feel like we all embody um some sense or some sort of ego all right like i mean i can admit that i i i i, I have that ego um i try to pull out of it as often and as best as i can but we all kind of embody that so this person basically is saying they're not going to be perfect but they could be just your ideal version of perfection all right so let's see um what the potential is between you and this person all right the potential we have the lovers card coming through you guys with the world card and the seven of cups. So I feel like right, I feel like with this energy right here, you know, the chapter is closing on your single life as you know it. You have the lover's card coming through, which I feel is a depiction of um, just that deep soul level connection that we all kind of crave. With the seven of cups, I feel like that's taking on and embarking on a lot of opportunities, having a lot of things come through your path when you meet this person that you guys are going to be able to fulfill. I feel like this person's coming through as excitement and adventurous. Um, with that knight of wands coming through at the um, bottom of the deck, um, beforehand, I feel like this is just somebody that you 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 is going to take you on adventures and show you experiences that you have never been able to experience with somebody else. I mean, I feel like it's simple. It could be boating, it could be hiking, it could be um, camping, um, ice skating. You know, just think of the things that you haven't done that you've wanted to try. I almost feel like this person's coming through in your life to show you experiences that have been unfulfilled um, with, with other people. You know, it could be simple as you like to work out and this person's gonna wanna work out with you. Um, and, and just kind of what I mean by that is like, you know, for example, in one of my previous relationships, um, I wanted to go on walks. Like I love walking, I love nature, I just love walking. And my the person I was with would never go do like the simple little things in life. And I feel like that's where you're gonna be fulfilled with this person that comes through here, all right? So I feel like you're gonna have a lot of opportunities and I feel like they're gonna be full of positive experiences for you guys. Um, so let's see what's happening around you when this person comes in. What's happening around you? we got we got the strength card coming through with the knight of pentacles um so <clears throat> i feel like this is more about you kind of not giving up on the dynamic of love all right i feel like you know um sometimes before um really positive things happen we kind of hit a low point in life cancer and i feel like what spirit's kind of saying with this is you might experience a, a, a little bit of uh, blockages but when right before this person comes through so just reminding you to stay strong all right it could be too that that when this person comes through you might have your guard up a little bit because you don't really trust their energy but it's like after you get to know them things will start moving forward in success all right so pay attention to the energies that kind of surround you because i feel like you might already have met this person and you might feel a little bit guarded or have some reservations when it comes to this person's energy um being 
um, around you. All right. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles, um, with strength card, you know, it's like, it's almost like coming into the 60 day intention, getting to the end of it and you guys not meeting this person and then boom, the new, the new energy kind of sets in, um, just as well. I did another read and I could see that we're edging towards that, that end of that 60 day intention that I set. And it's like kind of, um, you know, get your hopes are getting drawn down, right? Um, you know, um, two months is not that long, especially when you're channeling positive energy back into yourself, you guys. And it could just be that you're just like, well, you know, another reader says I'm going to meet somebody and blah, 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 blah. And, um, I feel like that could be the energy that you're in right before this person pops up, um, to grace you with their presence. So let's just see what your advice is. Your advice. Oh, look at that. He's coming. He or she is coming, you guys. And this is going to be a spiritual um, situation that comes through here. You have the Knight of Wands coming through. And you guys seen that. We seen that right there. All right. Somebody coming through is balance, success, protected connection, and moving forward, you guys. So just hang in there. Be patient. And really think about the dynamic. Continue to think about the dynamic that you want to play out with this person. I'm going to pull some initials and we'll see who's coming towards you. We have R and K, and this could be yours or this person's, R and P. We have I and D. And again, you guys know that this could be a confirmation of somebody that you've already recently met, so just keep that in mind. Spare letter L. Take care, you guys. Happy New Year.